Uh, welcome to Tech Field Day. My name is Jody Hoagland. I'm a global technology evangelist uh, for Dell EMC Storage, uh, specifically centered and focused around talking about and discussing the, the technical aspects of PowerStore. Uh, with me is uh, Chief Architect Dan Cummins. Dan, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Dan Cummins. I'm the uh, Chief Architect for PowerStore within the, uh, the mid-range uh, portfolio storage division at Dell EMC. All right, thanks, Dan. So we want to take uh, an opportunity today to walk you through the concepts behind PowerStore, uh, our focus uh, and our drive in bringing PowerStore to market. So one of the primary aspects when we talk about vision and strategy, we know that our executive staff within uh, Dell Technologies, Michael Dell, Jeff Clark, uh, have set a vision to say, we really want to focus on having a, a single consolidated high-end offering uh, mid-range offering, entry-level offering, software-defined offering, as well as unstructured offering. And bringing PowerStore to market is, is part of the aspects of that vision. And as we focus on bringing these technologies to market and consolidating uh, and moving towards uh, those simplified deployment methodologies, these are staple aspects of what we have to do uh, when we're bringing these, these products to market. You know, first of all, you know, make sure that we're bringing extreme simplicity uh, into the portfolio uh, and into the array technologies itself, whether that's uh, autonomous capabilities, you'll see a lot of that in the power store discussion, cloud enablement, uh, consistency of insight, but also bringing that best of breed storage DNA uh, and future proof concepts into the array on, on how we keep things fresh, how we move things forward inside of the array and inside of the array concepts. So let's dig right into the meat of PowerStore. There's three key pillars that we want to focus on. That's the data centrality, the intelligence of the array, and also the adaptability of the array. And as we look at the data-centric nature, we're going to focus on the aspects of being able to run any type of workload uh, on this platform, as well as the internalized capabilities of performance and the efficiency as, as it pertains to technologies like data reduction, uh, deduplication, compression, things like that. And so as we kind of move forward into this, uh, Dan and I will really get into the meat and, and explain that and then answer any questions that, that come up from uh, the tech field day delegates and staff out there. So when we begin the concepts of, of development around PowerStore, these were some of the staples that we needed to be able to run any type of workload, whether it be a, a file-based workload or a block-based workload, or even looking into the future and what's going on with NVMe over Fabrics capability. So whether you're running some type of OLTP database or cache database in healthcare uh, and simultaneously needing file-based capabilities for uh, file repositories, image stores, native file shares and directory shares, uh, all of that stuff can be consolidated. Uh, and, and is capable of being produced and, and maintained and ran inside of the PowerStore architecture. We can also do things like integrated container capabilities, leveraging technologies like the CSI plugin, which allows us to maintain and create persistent storage instances. So, Dan, do you want to chime in here and give your thoughts as chief architect uh, about some of the concepts of, of bringing PowerStore to market and, and, and what we were looking at here? Yeah, so the, the history really goes back um, uh, quite a way. I spent a, a large amount of time really traveling uh, the country, talking to customers and partners and really trying to understand, you know, their use cases. Um, so we had both uh, a set of external requirements as well as a set of internal requirements. So on external requirements, you know, when we talk to our customers, you know, we're, we're really about, you know, controlling cost, right, uh, consolidation. Uh, both performance consolidation, performance, you know, uh, data efficiency, um, you know, really to meet the, the existing workloads, but also what are we doing to uh, tackle uh, new use cases? Um, there was also external pressure from the emergence of new types of media storage class memories, uh, NVMe, um, you know, and, and other media like that. So we were seeing a transition. Um, internally, you know, when we took a look at our storage architectures, um, you know, we had a fair amount of entropy within the portfolio and our portfolio is pretty confusing, uh, especially since we went through the acquisition, you know, between EMC and Dell, we had a plethora of, um, of storage offerings and that's really, you know, confusing to our customers. But from a technology perspective, 
you know, when we took a look at, okay, how do we transform and meet these requirements from our customers? And how do we have an architecture that can really drive the utilization of this next gen media? You know, how can we get to a system that is simple? How can we get to a system that has native built in design for data reduction? So these were all uh, key facets, you know, that we weighed and considered uh, when we were developing uh, PowerStore. And we came to the conclusion, you know, putting it all together that we had to do something different, right? We had to build uh, something new from the ground up. 